it does dry up the bones. I mean, and think about drying up the bones. I know, that's a creepy I mean, the bones are the very depth of your being. Ladies and gentlemen, dogs and fleas, pull up a chair and sit on your knees. We have a story to tell you we are still learning about. Welcome to Talk the Walk. My name is Henry Moses. And I'm Gabriel Moses. We are super happy to be here and we thank you for joining us wherever you might be. Amen, amen. How's your week, Gabe? Solid. Solid? I had a solid week. Solid as a rock. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Solid on the rock. Yeah, yeah. Because of the rock. Solid because of the rock. That's right. I'm into that. <laughs> I, it, the, life's kind of like a roller coaster, don't you think? I mean, it's a ride that we don't know which way it's going to go. It's a highway. Yeah. I want to drive it all night long. All right, too many, too many. Life they, is they a focused. highway. This is not a podcast of the best challenges of the wittiest I people. I want to drive it. It goes all over the place. Highway, all roller coaster. Place. You can't figure out where it's going. Mm-hmm. And but it's up, God's with else. you. Yeah, yeah. He's with you. Sometimes you're flying high, and other times you feel like and he you're never changes in the valley. He's Ooh. the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's crazy. You say that because my memory verse, which will come up here in about 15 minutes, kind of is all about that. Mm-hmm. All right, but all it's right, probably right. not the one you think. You've been teaching memory verses to any. Little kiddos at all? Or teaching memory verses to get, I mean... I know you've been, you're you doing that Sunday school stuff, teaching mm-hmm. the Sunday school, and you're rather mm-hmm. going, ag- going against the grain kind of way. I do things my own way. Yeah. Anybody who knows me knows that. What's, but, your, what's your wifey think about that? About, I mean, well, so Henry's talking about... I do uh, third grade boys up at church every other weekend... And uh, it's funny. I mean, the the church that that I attend, that we, Carrie and I attend, is kind of a very structured kind of church. They've got it all worked out. <laughs> they have a plan for everything, and a, it's like a, the mafia, uh, the Christian mafia, maybe yeah. something like the, yeah. you know. They, it's a family. <laughs> it is a family, and so they, you know, they just plan. This is a big church, so they plan everything out, and but. You know, I I can't follow the script very well, so I kind of just write my own script well, in class. There's a difference between you know? can't and won't. I can't do it, nor will I. I mean, I feel like you can't. <laughs> I, okay, to some degree, I do follow it. I do follow it, and I. It's and, like Dad used to say, "I can." When we would ask him, "Dad, can you blah blah blah?" I can, but the question not, is, will I? Will I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I suppose, all right, I could try, but it sure doesn't come natural to me to follow the script. It just doesn't come natural. I, and it's harder, it takes more time, and it comes out side of, kind of sideways. It doesn't come out very well out of my mouth. Yeah. So, you know, basically, I, I mean, I talk about what was talked about in the main service to the little fellas, but I just do it my way. You like know. they want you to do arts and crafts, and they want and you to yeah, yeah some games. You said they have like five pages of scripted stuff that was, for you to do. Yeah, yeah. Henry and I obviously had a conversation about this before, so he knows stuff. I basically yes, there's games that we can play. Mm-hmm. There's arts and crafts that help to illustrate the points of the Bible. But man, I got twenty minutes here, twenty maybe twenty five minutes with these little fellas, and it's. If I and I got anywhere from fifteen to twenty five third grade boys in this class, if you can imagine, honestly, that. it's better when it's a discussion. Anyway, I hate when I'm in a Sunday school class and it's a lecture, and they're not not even that, but whoever's teaching the class is just reading from the paper the next thing he's supposed to say. Well, okay, so the so the way it's supposed to be is because like Carrie, my wife, is very good at doing it. She she does. She takes it off of what the church said. And she up. makes it her own. But she does. She mm-hmm. also makes it her own. She's mm-hmm. very good at it. And I'm just not that good at it. We'll say it that way. 
she can do that. And she brings the boys in. She asks them questions. She's just a killer. But you still it. stick to, like, you still stick, stick to, to the, whatever was preached and the theme all of that. The, the lesson theme of, of the, the day. Right. You stay on I do. track. Yes. You just kind of come in about your own way. So, yeah. So, Carrie's, you were telling me that Carrie's a little worried that you're going to get DOS boot. Yeah, the boot. <laughs> they might one day be like, why is there always some kid crying in your class or. Why is there always some some challenge or something going on? I, I do it different because, I mean, it's 20 to 25 boys. You got to keep them in line. So I, I do. I make them. I tell them all, hey, you're going to keep them in line so that they will shine. That's right. Yeah. We're here to learn. And I had to tell them that today. I was like, hey, we got to. Why are we here? Why did you come to church today? And they're like, to learn about God. I'm like, yes, <laughs> that's exactly They, they right. know the company line. They know they know yeah. what they're supposed to say, yeah. the quote-unquote church answer. But I love it because I'm like, okay, then you know that. Then let's do that. If y'all, I tell them, if y'all are yelling over me, I can't get nothing out. So how do you get them to that point? Like, how do you get them to the point where they're willing to listen? Where they're quiet and, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, you got to kind of work work them into that. It's like 20 to 25 boys who are not your kids. So, so yeah. they, they don't. And paddling's out. Like hey, back in, back when we were whooping. kids, you, no whooping. You, you'd catch the pow pow. Yeah, that's right. On a bad day. Hey. And no parents were like, hey, I mean, you were getting it from the the teacher and then you were getting it when you got home i mean you know they're <laughs> everybody gonna was home. gonna get a piece yeah. of your hide yeah they might line up and catch you in the rump on the way out the the church doors they might do know. it just for fun that's right you look like you need a whoop yeah yeah this is for something you didn't get caught doing <laughs> that's right and so that is that is the challenge is how do i get them to listen to me when i can't do any consequence and i'm like okay we can we can so basically what i do is i'll just tell them Everybody stand up when we first come into the room. They all come filing into the room. I'm like, everyone stand against the wall and stay there until you earn the right to sit down. So they know my rules now. They're getting the hang of it. They're getting used to it. You need we, to get a you need to get an Arnold Schwarzenegger whistle. Yeah, a whistle. Like kindergarten. Just a co- uh, old coach whistle. Yep. Just I blow it. That means sit down. I blow it but again. That if means I blow it, up. it means you blew it. That's right. You That's blew right. it. Or yep. if I, maybe if I blow twice, you got 10 push-ups coming. That's right. Something like that. But yeah. So you stand them up on the wall and you yeah. tell them you will earn the right oh, to take funny. the seat. After they be quiet, standing against the wall for enough time, I'll point to them mm-hmm. and say, you, you can sit down. You're being good and quiet. Then you, then you. And it takes about a minute or two before they're all sitting down. And you don't want to be that oddball. That's, a, That's right. Are well, you sure you don't, you don't want to get picked last on that? That's true. I didn't think about you that. You know, I'd be like, oh crap. This is getting. Oh, oh nope, I'm not. Man, to say one that. or two of like, these. Son of a gun. This is getting. It's thinning out. And one I'm or two of these the guys one. are always still standing there. They're usually the last ones standing. Because they're little buddies. They're little buddies. What you need to do? Cooper you need to get and you Jason. A, you need to get you a, 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 you know, one of those cork boards and put it up on the wall. Yeah. And have cutouts done of each one of their heads. <laughs> <laughs> and then just put. At the top of the court board, wall of shame. The wall of shame. And whoever's the last one up there every yeah. week gets their face stuck up on That's the wall funny. of shame until the next week. That's funny. That and then have an arrow that points to it like a like a flashing arrow that says, don't be that guy. Don't be this kid. Yeah. yeah. This kid is always yeah. the wall of shame kid. Yeah, you don't want to be the wall of shame oh, kid. Like, oh, it's getting closer. <laughs> be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Be I'm going to be quiet. stiff. Then it's just a matter of who's being more stiff they'll, than the other ones. They'll, they'll probably be like raising their hand. I'm being quiet. I'm being quiet. Because it's funny. As I teach this class, there's one or two of the boys, dude, they always have their hand up. And I'm like, put your little hand down. You can't you can't ask 50,000 questions or we'll never get through the lesson. Put your hand down. I wave their hand. Like, put it down. Put uh-huh. It's hilarious, though. Some of these boys, they just want to talk. They want to. They'd be great in the one-on-one conversation sharing of information some mm-hmm. of these boys know the bible mm-hmm. they're future teachers they know Which the means bible. it's hard to be quiet yeah yep yes yeah they man I'm, I'm i get impressed one of them's one of the kids who's always talking but every time i ask a question he does have the the full-on answer some of these boys get kind of close with the answer but this dude 
He says the answer I'm actually looking yeah. for. I'm like, you he's, get he's it, He's got man. parents that are doing it right. Yeah, and, and that's the other fun part. I'll just throw that on there. At the end, when all the parents come to get the kids, you know, it's a big old line mm-hmm. of parents, and they got to give the sticker that shows the same number as the sticker the kid's wearing that validates I'm their parent. And I'll tell some of those parents, hey, he was awesome today. He was mm-hmm. my helper. He was helpful to me. He was interactive, and mm-hmm. he is wise. He's smart. He's funny. He's kind. I love telling the parents that stuff because I'm like, you should know. You, you got a good boy there. That's a good kid. Do you do the flip side? Yeah, I do. Parents are the I bad do. ones. The, the, I had a kid last year. He, ooh, he was a tough kid. He still is, but he loves God. I'll tell you that. But he was tough, and I told his mom, came to pick him up one day, and I said, he ran me through it today. She goes, oh, no, I'm sorry. And I was like, he's tough. He's real tough. <laughs> and, and she knows it. She knows. And they're, they're her, his, this kid's parents are real nice, good parents. But they got themselves an ornery handful of a kid on that one. Oh, yeah. And, and I see him. And I'm telling you what, though. He had his hands raised last year. And other kids would look at him and start raising their hands during praise and worship. He would actually be praising the Lord and stuff. And so I always thought, okay, he might be a pain, but he loves God. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, good that's for the, him. That's a true starting You're, point. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And who, who, which, which fella is not a wild man at heart? If you're a boy, there's some wildness in you. I don't know. I'm like, I mean, there's, there's some that are kind of relaxed and chill. And I'm talking about majority. Yeah. There are some, for sure. I was quiet. But inside, deep down, there was some wildness. I, you can't show me a boy that don't have some wildness. I wouldn't believe it. Hmm. You, may, you may have some in mind. Maybe we'll talk after no, this. No, I don't. I'm just trying to you can't think sh- of it. I would never believe there's a boy that has no wildness in him. Huh. Yeah, well, I don't know. Debatable, huh? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know if it's debatable. It's just a thought. Oh, it's a boy. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm like, Nah. That's well, we are, we are built to be able to carry the load, take the lashes, yeah, protect the women yes. and the children. Yep, you know, yep. Uh, stand guard. That's it. Be the gatekeeper. Which I want to actually do a podcast on one of these days. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we did do one on what's it like to be a man, or what is it to be a man, a good man, or what? It, what was it? Uh, remember that? What know. is a man? That's what it was called. What is a man? I don't think we did it. We talked about doing it. I don't think we actually did it. No, we did. No, I don't think so. All right, listeners. Everybody who's listening to this, sitting here going, yes, y'all did. Yep. Uh, We'll have to go back. It was right after our nephew Creighton's graduation. We talked about it, and then we did. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. It's coming to you. Yeah, that's right. We did do that. We did do it. But yeah, you know, what about what, how is a man made? Like how? What's their design? Like just their natural way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we know what we're what a good man should be and should do. But well, you uh, so you were you were not necessarily looking forward to doing the kids ministry when, dude. I'm scared every Sunday. Yeah. What do you think every about that now? Has that changed or? Well, it's good. You know, it is. I've grown a pretty attached yeah. to some of these little dudes already one of them his name's joe he every time he sees me hey gabe hey gabe and i'm like hey joe you teaching class today <laughs> you know it's cute i'm like they they know you they look up to you on yeah some of le- the levels and you're like wow man that feels kind of uh, maybe i'm saying something that matters making a connection here that they yeah. that they'll learn and grow in the lord well, that's what i was gonna say i mean it, it, i mean if you stop and think about it and you think about the great teachers in your life that's why that's why you know it's so important to serve serve serve, so serve, 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 serve 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 get serve. your butt up and serve in whatever area you know that you feel like the lord is leading you directing you whatever you yes. area you're gifted yes. sometimes i mean you may have to seek that out a little bit but man find out because you didn't really that wasn't your thing, you know. Before it's, you and Carrie got married, you almost, you would serve people naturally, stuff like you like you in my people. life. But going and being part of the church, I and still serving, don't want to do it, right? <laughs> but once you get in there and do it, yes, you know, there's a feeling yep. you walk out of there with. Even doing this, I yeah. mean, 
man, it, it's not. It takes time and it takes commitment yes, and all this kind of stuff to do it. Um, we don't belong. And there's ourselves. been times that I've thought, Whew, it'd be easier if that was off the plate. Um, yeah. yeah. But but I don't want to not do it. But it, but a part of me is like, man, who trying to make sure I and, could take a and nap right wanting now. to be careful about what you're saying and all oh, that yeah. kind of stuff. So, um, but it's a commitment. Yeah. of service and that the feeling you know that we have whenever we're done doing this um it's always good it's always good it always feels even good. whenever we're like eh, i don't know how good it doesn't matter man it just <laughs> feels good that we got in there and served and we, talked about the word we talked about the gospel yeah we talked about jesus christ and what he did for everybody and going doing that with kids and do you got to do it perfect nope i mean making that being that that uh rock for those children yes. because too you don't even know what they're going through yeah. in their home lives yeah I mean they can, yeah. you see Christian families all the time that fall apart and you find out the dad was doing this or the mom was doing that yeah. or you know you just don't know what's going to happen but you have an opportunity to be a stable force in that life and there were 23 of them in there today yeah. who knows all the different life stories uh, of these who knows? little dudes who knows they're cute man or how much longer they have to live need this, to hear the word of God I mean you just don't know this one kid came in wearing like leather gloves today he had a mullet and i mean he had the 80s leather oh, yeah. gloves with the holes in the knuckles yeah oh yeah i know exactly and i was like oh we got a bad boy here oh okay and he was he was a little bit of a troublesome fella and he wanted to sit his chair right by me up at the front i said what you doing up here man and i said you gonna stand up and be a part of the teaching he goes, nope, I'm just sitting here. And I was like, well, you didn't earn the right. Put your chair over there with everyone else. <laughs> and he goes, I want to sit here. And I said, not up for debate. Move your chair. <laughs> he picked his chair up. Went, and I was like, uh, you're a little, little troublemaker, aren't mm-hmm. you? But he listened. I'm like, I don't get the feeling that he knew much about the word. But he is there in school to learn, Sunday school. So I was like, this is interesting. I've not seen a kid like you before. I wonder if he came with a friend or I don't. came with a... He looked like someone you'd see on North Amarillo, yeah. not South Amarillo. Yeah. And I'm like, well, we're from North Amarillo, so I recognize you. Yeah. Game recognized it. game. That's right. Yeah. I'm like, I know you, man. I know you. I feel you. And you're in trouble. Now go put but your chair up. <laughs> go, now go back over there. You, you yeah. will. You got your time in the lot. You're not the teacher. Yeah. You're not the teacher. He didn't pray over this. So did he ease up as time went on? Or I mean, I only got like 20, 25 minutes with him. Man. But he's a good kid. I'd have know? to focus on kids. that kid a little bit. Just 23 boys that all in their one year attention. Yeah. Wanting to be noticed. You know what? We're gonna, we questions. need to do an episode and have your wife back on now that because now that she's doing that children, you know, director over oh, yeah. youth and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Junior high, school. or junior high, um, just to talk about that uh, and what, talk like, about like what we were talking about yesterday, the influence of the children. You know, we, we were talking about camp and all that. We need to get to our memory verses. But, yes, yeah, okay. but. Uh, Ooh. But yeah, this can go. Lying. Now that we have the freedom of two different episodes a week, we'll like, make them both an hour long. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's commit more time. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, but we need to have her on here. This has been a good conversation. We need to have yeah. her on here and oh, she's kind of dig into that. Oh, she's she's so energetic, like into it. She's yeah. Her heart is so for it. Mm-hmm. This is what she was made to do. Mm-hmm. You can tell. Cause she pours all her time and all her energy. I'm like, you were made for this, babe. I'm like, goodness, you have to pull the reins back on her. Yeah, she's one of those. She's like a wild stallion. Me, you gotta. She's a Mustang. I'm not like a pull the reins back. I'm like, what is it? The cattle prod. Get moving. Get your butt moving, Gabe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. okay, okay. I'm well, going, you, I'm you going. walked in here looking like a sloth. So. Oh, I was tired. Yeah. I was tired. Yeah. On that note, you first. Kick it. Proverbs 17, verses 22 and 22. (laughs) A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. And I was thinking about that. You know, it's funny because I, I, you know, I've talked about it many times on here. I try to write, read Proverbs every day, every day, every day. And, um, 
you know, you're reading through, and sometimes the ver- the verse just smacks you in the face. That's kind of yes, how I end up right. choosing it to memorize. And I was thinking about that. I was like, you know, your first thought is, how does that pertain to me? Yes. Yeah. Um, walking in a joyful heart does uplift me. You know, if I recognize, like if I just sit sitting there regurgitating that verse. Yeah. It just is a great, it reminds you, wait a minute. Yeah. I'm not, are you, it's that you can make the choice to walk with a joyful spirit. Mm-hmm. Because, and how, how that works is you don't just, okay, now I'm walking in joyful I'm spirit. Joyful. No, you, but you think <laughs> about what the reason you have to be joyful. Wait a minute. What am I doing? My, my yeah. thinking's off. Yeah. My heart feels wrong. I haven't prayed today. I haven't yep. this. I haven't that. Pump the brakes. Yep. You know, I'm not, I'm walking with a crushed spirit. I'm walking in a crushed spirit. And we all know what that feels like. Oh, yeah. A crushed spirit, you're darn right. It does dry up the bones. I mean, and think about drying up the bones. I know, that's a creepy. I mean, the bones are the very depth of your being. You it's know, graphic. Of your physical it's being. It's graphic, and you can If your bones dry up, you're in trouble. Yeah, you're dead, really. And there's times, like, dealing with depression, um, the weight of the world, all this stuff, you can, you know, I... I can't. I don't know if I talked about it or not, but a, a few weeks back, man, I got a physical punch in the mouth. That our physical, not a physical, a financial, yeah. okay, punch to the mouth. That uh, man, it was like a knockout blow. Yeah, you know, I had. And I went backwards. You're like, uh, uh, put you on your heels. Catch myself with a, one of my arms and and wasn't sure if I was gonna make it back up. That That's day. on the ropes. And uh, and then I just thought. I just thought, you know, now's the time to, times like this are when you find out if you truly believe what you preach. Mm-hmm. It's not in the easy times. Mm-hmm. It's easy to follow God in the easy times. So, well, you know. Yeah. You know, no opposition. Like, oh, yeah, God, you're so He's- good. Look at how good life is. <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> um, but it's in the hard times, man, where you turn to him, where you trust him. Yeah. It's one thing to turn to God. Why, why, why? You know, wah, 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 why, 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 and wah, wah, wah sound very Sounds familiar. the same, don't it? Yes. Wah, 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 why. Yes. Why, 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 you know. Mm-hmm. Um, or, wait a minute, God. I don't trust me. I know I don't have the strength to handle it. I ain't got it. But I know you do. And I know you're good and you're faithful and whatever the outcome of all this. First, I'm going to believe that you carry me through it to a victorious path on the other side or victorious reward whatever you want to call it mm-hmm. um but second even if you don't you are good and this life is good yeah. that you've given me even if i'm led to the as a lamb to the slaughter yeah you are good i'm gonna walk with a joyful a joyful heart yeah and not a crushed spirit here's the other thing i was thinking about that and i thought you know that kind of has dual meaning because it also has that effect on the people around you if you walk with a joyful heart, let me tell you, I mean, people can't help but be affected by that. They don't even have to like you. You know what? That makes me think of uh, an old friend of ours, Tim. His name was Homie. Remember him? Oh, yeah. I just Tim messaged him on Facebook the other day. Tim Fields. Fields yep. Man, black guy. One of them. I tell no, you, I, I'm not going to steal your what you're saying because I know exactly what you're about to I'm say. I'm just really. saying every time I ever saw him, he made me feel good. Yep. He was happy. He was joyful. Biggest smile. Big, big old smile. stocky dude. Stocky. Muscle yeah, he dude. was built. Yeah, but always he made, friendly. He made me happy. Every time I saw him, I knew I'm not going to be dragged down by his attitude, his terrible attitude. I'm going to be lifted up because he's just a positive happy person mm-hmm. so yes it does make me think of him just because his, 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 his attitude was so stellar and you can't help even in your enemy I mean think about it if you come into the office and there's somebody you don't get along with but your joy is not your joy is not dependent on how they're treating you mm-hmm. your joy comes from the spring of life that never goes dry named Jesus Christ well that's that's where my joy comes from so you can't you can't steal that from me. I'm gonna be joyful, and that is why we're supposed to put on the armor of God every mm-hmm. morning. It says to do mm-hmm. it every day in the mm-hmm. Bible. It says it, and so you're you're supposed to do it every day yeah. so that you can walk in that freedom every yeah. day. Yeah, 
that kind of joy would come. A joyful heart. Like, yeah. it's a heart thing. Yeah. You can just go through the motions. Okay, I got to put on the helmet of salvation. I got to put on the the breastplate of righteousness. I got to put on the sword of the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that okay, let me, read, let me read the scripture. But that's the way I think a lot of people do. Like, that is not a joyous heart. A joyous heart is rejoicing in the yeah. fact that God's got it and you don't. And that's okay. Yeah. And that, that does not dry off the bones. Okay. That is good medicine to you. Let me jump in And on good mine medicine now. to the people that you come across. The reason I picked my verse is that what you just said. So that's kind of neat how this is played out. Mine is James chapter 1, verse 17. And it says, and you'll remember this and it'll sound familiar. Every good and perfect gift comes from above, coming down from the Father of heavenly lights, who does not change like the shifting shadows. And I, the reason I picked that one, I, I looked that up. I don't, I don't read that one very often. I one don't, I don't come across it very much, uh-huh. but, um, the last couple of weeks, man, I've just had a, a total epiphany about my, who I am and who God is my relationship to him and what I'm allowed to ask. And I basically realized just because I stink doesn't mean he does. Like, I can, I can ask for something from God for you know for Him to do something in my life, even if my motives are not perfect in some ways. He is. He's perfect. Mm-hmm. If I say, Lord, please be with so and so, I might be doing it just because I told someone I'd pray for him. Yep. And that's a some semi good reason, but it's not a it's not the purest of reasons because my heart shouldn't our heart should really be for that person fully um and care about the outcome of their predicament. But it's perfect it's great because God is perfect. Mm-hmm. Like his motives are perfect. That's right. Just because I stink just because I have sin in my life, sometimes I'm like, I just don't feel like I haven't honored God in so many ways, and I just don't feel like going to him and asking Him for a favor. But I'm like, yeah, it, it occurred mm-hmm. to me, Gabe, just because you stink doesn't mean He does. Yeah, I think about that. The uh, if you're, you know, just bring it into a physical realm. If you, if you're, if if Logan. Was my oldest son, yeah. Yes, your lo- oldest son, Logan. If he had a friend that really needed help with something and he knew that you could help, yeah. And he had had a horrible day at school and had been rough and he'd been struggling a little bit at home and he had all this homework to get done. And, and, uh, and then he came home and he's in the middle of working on his homework and he's like, oh crap, I forgot to tell. Oh, I gotta not use that word. Miles is going to get all over me about a <laughs> son of a gun. Uh, uh, you know, I forgot to tell dad, uh, I really got to work on this homework. Okay. But no, I promise. I know I'm going to go tell dad real quick. Then I'm going to get back to this homework. Like it's not, he's, he's keeping to his word. He's going to bring the word to, to you. Cause he knows that you, your response, your character, all that, like it has nothing to do with, how Logan presented it to you. That his friend needed help? Right. Okay. But Logan presented the problem to you. You're able to help. Whether he did it with a... A perfect... Dad, let me tell you about something. Or he said, Dad, I'm exhausted. I'm busy. I've got to work on this homework. But I told you that Jake needed help with blah, 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 blah. I told blah. my friend that I would, that tell, I would you. tell you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm going to tell you about that real quick and then yeah. I'll have to get back to You know... You know, it's not it's not dependent on our character. How perfectly we say it. It's God's perfect character. Or the posture of our heart. Yeah. Yeah. Good or bad. Yeah. What's the one you always quote? Well, our righteous what what seems like our righteousness our, yeah. is as filthy rags. Our righteousness is as filthy rags in the nostrils yeah. of God. Like yeah. we're never going to get it just like perfect. Nothing's right. dependent on our nature. But he but it says yeah. at the end of my verse it says who who does not change like the shifting shadows. And of course he is the father of the heavenly lights. So he, the light doesn't, light doesn't have a shadow, Mm -hmm. which I've always loved that fact. Light Mm -hmm. doesn't have a shadow. It casts 
a shadow from hitting other things that get in the way, and then there's a shadow. Mm -hmm. But the light does not have a shadow. And so God cannot change. He does not change. And it, it's, it's just so reliable for me knowing with my stinkiness. And it made me, it made, you know what it did? It made me think, Gabe, did you think you were perfect? Like, why are you just figuring this out? You just, you just now turned 43 years old. Why is this such an epiphany to you now? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think I, <clears throat> I don't think I thought I was perfect, but for some reason it never occurred to me that even as much, even though I stink so bad, doesn't mean he does. Like, it doesn't mean that he's going to stop me from coming to him because I'm so stinky. It, it just means he's still good and I'm still not. I live in sin amidst sin. Well, I like the Jeremy Camp li- lyrics. Not because of who I am. But because, or not because of what I've done, but because of who you are. Not because of who I am, but because of what you've done. Yeah. Yes. You know. Yes. Because of who he is and what he's done has nothing to do with us man just take it yeah, don't wait for yourself to be perfect don't wait for yourself to be in the right spirit yes. it'll get it'll help you get, get get your spirit there yes step into him it'll Go help ahead. you walk in joy with a joyful heart God's like help and me. not have a crushed spirit help me help you help me help, help you. you hey we pulled that off good right at 30 minutes bullseye somehow yeah some way let us pray <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you for this this good time and conversation about you, Lord. Uh, you truly do cause us to have joyful hearts that provide medicine to others and ourselves. We're grateful for it. We love you. We worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Go ye into all the world. And preach the gospel. Amen. Solid as a rock. That's right. Yeah.